Uh, what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today i bring you the alluvium overworld guide for mining resources for all the mining ores we got 12 of them right here and we gotta put them in different categories right here so you always know which is the rarest and which tier is which right and i was asking myself the same thing like how how does it work with all the mining ores how does all of this stuff work and what i what i found out is if you sort it here by tier then you will see all those resources sorted by their tier. So these two are tier zeros, those two are tier one, this is tier two, those two are tier three, we got tier four right here, and the last two are tier five. Wow, I'm drawing just beautifully. And if we wanna if we wanna affirm that, we just go into the armaments in your forge. What you can see right here for the tier zero, you have those two materials. Right? Then we have tier one, we have the next two materials. Tier three, uh, tier two the same, tier three the same, and so on. So basically, if we put all of this in a tier list, we're just gonna do what the game tells us to. And tier zero right here, you might be wondering why is this on the very top? Because tier zero. It's giving you jetpack, right? It's giving you jetpack and boots. You can see it right here. All the jetpacks and all the boots that need those two tier zero mining materials. And it's so, so important to have jetpack and the boots. I mean, you can do perfect runs without it. It's kind of a tier on its own, right? It enhances your fun in the game a lot and your speed and everything. But you can still do full runs without it. So... If you're rushing in your first game when the release is, you probably don't want to go tier zero. You're gonna go the highest tier that you can afford and just try to catch the rarest diluvial right away. Once you have like your own alluvials to catch them and a few shards and everything. So yeah, tier zero is super super important because you want to have those boots and those jetpacks. But it kind of stands on its own, that's why it's up here. Then we got the tier 5, which is this rainbow rock right here, Selenbium. And the other one is the Celestium. Then as the tier 4, we got this Erevium. And... Uh -huh. I have a little trick to find out which one it is. Maybe you noticed. And this Rubivium. Then for the tier 3, we got this bad boy right here and the blue one. Next up are those two, I believe. And then we got those two. So I'm not 100% sure if I put it in the right order right now. But just look at the numbers. Those are all screenshots from in-game. From all my progress. And I basically just played random, right? I did a lot of stage 1s. Then I did a lot of days just stage 3s and so on. So this is kind of a playtest. And you can see tier 5 has the lowest amount. I'm struggling to find those. Tier 4 has a bit more. Tier 3 has more. And so on. So let's just check back if this was right. And it looks like it was. Yes. So what I want to tell you with this is that the tier list is actually also the rankings for them. Because tier 1, you're going to get the most of it. You need it only for tier 1 equipment. And as you can see, I have 400 and 300. So you really don't need to pick those up. If you scan, you want to scan your resources. I'm going to do a guide about scanning. But just, I want to tell you, if you scan about resources, might want to not harvest if you see only those two are left. Same with these two bad boys. And maybe the same with this. As you can see, I've experienced this a lot, that the blue, the Vanavium right here, comes way after than the Telvium, and you also need the Telvium a little bit more. But yeah, in general, you have a lot of them. And with tier 4 and 5, here it's where it starts to get interesting, and those four resources you really need a lot, and you don't get them so much. As for the tier 0, they're super important just for your quality of gameplay. But as soon as you have those rocket boots and those and the chat pack, and basically the tier zero illusions that you want, you don't need tier zero at all anymore. Like you capped out really fast, 
and that's it. And many people will just buy it off the marketplace, right? Let other people farm the tier zero who played for free and want to make a little bit of money. And you just buy those Supreme chat packs for like, I don't know, $5 one day after release. So yeah, I hope this can help you because it will help me a lot. I will save this screenshot. I will also post it on Twitter so you can grab it from there if you don't want to screenshot yourself. And yeah, I will know that those tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, I will leave on the ground. And by the way, there is not a big difference between the two. Because some items need more of the one and some items need more of the other one. It's pretty good in balance. Overall, I feel like Selenium right here is a bit more important than the Celestium. Obviously, this Telvium is more important than the blue one. We almost got half of it. Of the, We got almost got double the blue ones. But yeah, for the rest, like you can see the numbers, there is always, most of the time, one that, uh, that has a bit more and a bit less. But it's a, a really small sample size just from my gameplay, but yeah, it, it will give you a general guideline. Which are the good mining materials and which are not. Then we have one thing left, which is, or two things actually, here's the drones. They use kind of the resources all over the board. Like right here, this is a tier 5. And what we are using right here is tier 3 and tier 4 materials for a tier 5 component. But there's also the tier 5 component in here. And if we look at the tier 2 drone components, there is a 3, 4 and 2. And here it's a 1, 2, 3. So basically for the drone augments it uses pretty much random materials you could say. But it always, like for the tier 5 augments you need those tier 5 um, ores so what I mean by this is it stays the same like you still for the best stuff you still need the best tier mining nodes especially tier 4 and tier 5 because they're way rarer than the other ones and then the last thing I wanted to have a look at we of course have the visor which is currently just listed in tier 2 at the equipment and right here we are using tier 4, tier 3, and yeah, that's it. We're using those four right here. Which again, doesn't change much of our premise that those are the tiers and they go up this way, except for the tier 0. It's very important, but you could skip it and you're capped out at one point. That's it. I thought you might be interested in that. It's... It was really easy to find out, but unless you make the effort to try to find it out, you won't find it out if nobody tells you about it. So here I am telling you about it. I hope it helped you. i see you in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.